We continue today with chapter 29, Forgiveness and the End of Time. How willing are you to forgive your brother? How much do you desire peace instead of endless strife and misery and pain? These questions are the same in different form. Forgiveness is your peace, for herein lies the end of separation and the dream of danger and destruction, sin and death, of madness and of murder, grief and loss. This is the, quote, sacrifice salvation asks, and gladly offers peace instead of this. Swear not to die, you holy son of God. You make a bargain that you cannot keep. The son of life cannot be killed. He is immortal as his father. What he is cannot be changed. He is the only thing in all the universe that must be won. What seems eternal, all will have an end. The stars will disappear, and night and day will be no more. All things that come and go, the tides, the seasons, and the lives of men, all things that change with time and bloom and fade will not return. Where time has set an end is not where the eternal is. God's Son can never change by what men made of Him. He will be as He was and as He is. For time appointed not His destiny, nor set the hour of His birth and death. Forgiveness will not change Him. Yet time waits upon forgiveness, that the things of time may disappear, because they have no use. Nothing survives its purpose. If it be conceived to die, then die it must, unless it does not take this purpose as its own. Change is the only thing that can be made a blessing here, where purpose is not fixed, however changeless it appears to be. Think not that you can set a goal unlike God's purpose for you, and establish it as changeless and eternal. You can give yourself a purpose that you do not have, but you cannot remove the power to change your mind and see another purpose there. Change is the greatest gift God gave to all that you would make eternal, to ensure that only heaven would not pass away. You were not born to die. You cannot change, because your function has been fixed by God. All other goals are set in time and changed that time might be preserved, excepting one. Forgiveness does not aim at keeping time, but at its ending, when it has no use. Its purpose ended, it is gone and where it once held seeming sway is now restored the function God established for His Son in full awareness. Time can set no end to its fulfillment, nor its changelessness. There is no death because the living share the function their Creator gave to them. Life's function cannot be to die. It must be life's extension that it be as one, forever and forever, without end. This world will bind your feet and tie your hands and kill your body only if you think that it was made to crucify God's Son. For even though it was a dream of death, you need not let this stand for this to you. Let this be changed and nothing else in the world but must be changed as well. For nothing here but is defined as what you see it for. How lovely is the world whose purpose is forgiveness of God's Son! How free from fear, how filled with blessing and with happiness! And what a joyous thing it is to dwell a little while in such a happy place! Nor can it be forgot in such a world, it is a little while till timelessness comes quietly to take the place of time. And from the workbook, Lesson 230. 
Now will I seek and find the peace of God. In peace I was created, and in peace do I remain. It is not given me to change myself. How merciful is God, my Father, that when He created me, He gave me peace forever. Now I ask but to be what I am. And can this be denied me, when it is forever true? Father, I seek the peace you gave as mine in my creation. What was given then must be here now, for my creation was apart from time, and still remains beyond all change. The peace in which your Son was born into your mind is shining there unchanged. I am as you created me. I need but call to you to find the peace you gave. It is your will that gave it to your Son. Amen.